All right, boys and girls, today we are going to do something that very few have been able to do. We are going to cross a troll bridge. How, you ask? We are going to look back on Wednesday's assignment, and if you get the questions correct, you get to take a few steps closer to the troll bridge. If you don't, make it eat up. All right, so let's start off by reading those passages. So our first passage is squirrels using snakeskin. Squirrels are common in many parts of the United States. Scientists have recently discovered something very strange about squirrels. They like to chew rattlesnake skin. Ew. Rattlesnakes, like other snakes, outgrow their skin and shed it. Some squirrels not only search for a piece of rattlesnake skin to chew, they also smear the chewed up rattlesnake skin all over themselves. What could be the reason for this behavior? A squirrel chewing on rattlesnake skin. Scientists suggested several possible explanations. Some scientists thought that male squirrels, which are more aggressive than female squirrels, rub the snake skin on their bodies to smell like rattlesnakes. The scent might scare away other male squirrels. A second idea was that the squirrels might use the snake skin, snake skin odor to ward off fleas. But when scientists conducted an experiment to test this explanation, they found that fleas did not avoid squirrels that had rattlesnake skin scents on their body. Bodies. Scientists also suggested that squirrels might use the rattlesnake odor to avoid being eaten by rattlesnakes. Adult squirrels have a special protein in their body that makes a, makes a rattlesnake's poisonous. Let's try that again. Adult squirrels have a special protein in their blood that makes a rattlesnake's poisonous bite harmless to them. But young squirrels can die if bitten by, ra by a rattlesnake. Female squirrels protect their young and share burrows with them. Therefore, scientists suggest that female squirrels and young squirrels chew on rattlesnake skin, rattle, chew on snake skin and spread its scent on their bodies as protection from snakes. A snake might be less likely to attack a squirrel that smells like another snake. One scientist, Barbara Klukas, decided to test these theories by observing a group of squirrels at a, at a natural preserve. To tell the squirrels apart, she marks each one with a number by using black hair dye. Lucas noted the ages of the squirrels and whether they were male or female. Next, she released the squirrels and set out pieces of sh set out pieces of shed rattlesnake skin. Then she hid and filmed the results. She timed how long each squirrel stayed to chew up on rattlesnake skin. Then she watched as the squirrel rubbed a mixture of saliva and snake skin on itself. Klukas found that female squirrels and young squirrels took the most time performing these activities. Her observations supported the idea that the squirrels have been using the snake skin for protection against rattlesnakes. Klukas believes that the scent of the snake skin works as a disguise. Snakes typically have a strong sense of smell. So if a hungry snake detects the smell of a rattlesnake in a burrow, the snake will leave that burrow alone. Even if the snake is really a sneaky squirrel. Smart. A clever use of coconuts. So notice there were no questions in between and the questions all come afterwards. We have two back-to-back -back passages. This is called paired passages. A clever use of coconuts. The octopus with its eight arms, two big eyes, and a beak is an amazing creature. Scientists have long have long known that octopuses are intelligent, but until recently they did not realize just how smart octopuses really are. Octopuses have different ways of to escape their enemies. Sometimes they squirt ink, the ink clouds the ocean water and makes the octopus difficult to locate. Octopuses also have the ability to change the color of their bodies to match the color of their surroundings. Enemies swim right by octopuses without noticing them. Octopuses can also squeeze into very tight places for protection. While diving in the ocean, scientists were surprised to see octopuses use another way to protect themselves. 
they witnessed some small octopuses moving coconut halves along the ocean floor. The scientists followed the octopuses and were surprised to discover that the creatures were stacking the coconut shells in a pile. When octopus thought it was in danger, it raced back to the shell. Then it got two shell halves and hid inside them by pulling them pulling one on top of the other. Because coconut shells are very hard to hard on the outside, the creature was able to create a safe armored ball that protected it from danger. Scientists believe that this behavior demonstrates that octopuses are tools are tool users. An octopus hiding inside a coconut shell. That's pretty smart. Crabs also use shells for protection, but scientists don't consider crabs tool users. These creatures can pick up shells and hide in them, but octopuses can carry shells to another spot. Scientists argue that the transportation of the shells indicate that octopuses can lead, think ahead about how they will use the shells later. Besides humans, chimpanzees and some birds are the most common tool users. But now scientists have placed octopuses with the animals that are intelligent enough to use tools. Clearly, octopuses are among the smartest animals in the world. Alright, so we are now going to look at our answer choices to see if you can get across that troll bridge. Use squirrels using snake skin pages. So notice this PP, that means pages. So on the star test, just keep in mind, pages 23 through 24 to answer questions 24 through 28. Then fill in the answers on here. Well, we don't have to worry about that part. Uh, so, number 24, the author wrote this selection most likely to, remember, it's called a selection because it is nonfiction. So, the author wrote this selection most likely to F, inform readers of the differences between squirrels and snakes. If you are in the classroom, you can write your answer on a whiteboard and hold it up. If you're at home, you can just write it on a piece of paper and or a, a whiteboard if you have one. So if you chose F, you better run for your life. If you, let's go back and look at the next answer choice. So F is not our answer because this is not comparing and contrasting snakes and squirrels. This is informing us about why snake, why squirrels use snakeskin. Okay, G, explain efforts to understand an unusual squirrel behavior. Could be. H, so we'll put an M next to it for maybe. H, encourage readers to investigate the activities of squirrels. Did they ever try and persuade you or convince you to go and investigate why these squirrels are eating up snake skin and rubbing it all over themselves? Nowhere in that text did that happen. So if you chose H, get to running. All right, let's go look at our last answer choice. J, tell readers about a special squirrel and its diet. Hmm, A, special squirrel means one. We're not talking about one specific squirrel here. And we're not talking about its diet as in like them eating acorns or any kind of nuts like that. Uh, we are trying to, G, explain efforts to understand an unusual squirrel behavior. So if you chose G, you are one step closer to crossing this bridge. Number 25, paragraphs two through four are mainly about, so we're looking for the main idea. So let's go back to paragraphs two through four. We're only using squirrel, squirrels using snakeskin. 
So here we have scientists suggested several possible explanations. Some scientists thought that male squirrels, which are more aggressive than female squirrels, rub the snake skin on their bodies to smell like rattlesnakes. The scent might then scare away other male squirrels. A second idea was that the squirrels might use the snake skin odor to ward off fleas. But when scientists conducted an experiment to test this explanation, they found that fleas did not avoid the squirrels that had rattlesnake skin, rattlesnake scents on their bodies. Scientists also suggested that squirrels might use the rattlesnake odor to avoid being eaten by rattlesnakes. Adult squirrels have, an, have a special protein in their bodies that makes rattlesnakes poisonous. Rattlesnakes poisonous bites harmless to them, but young squirrels can die if bitten by a rattlesnake. Female squirrels protect their young and share burrows with them. Therefore, scientists, scientists suggest that female squirrels and young squirrels chew on rattlesnakes in a spread its scent on their bodies as protection from rattlesnakes. A snake might be less likely to attack a squirrel that smells like another snake. So what was the main idea of all of that? Is it A, a special protein that adult squirrels have in their bodies? No. Run. A was a supporting detail, but it was not the main idea what the what those couple of paragraphs were mainly about. B, how female squirrels use rattle use snake skin to protect themselves. Is that just one supporting detail or is that what those paragraphs were mainly about? No. No, no, no. Get to run. B is just a supporting detail, one of the details. C, how fleas can be avoided by using the skin shed by rattlesnakes. Was all of, were all of those paragraphs about fleas or is that just a small supporting detail? If you chose C, I hope you brought your running shoes. He's coming for you. Or D, possible reasons that squirrels spread chewed snake skin on their bodies. That is exactly what those couple of paragraphs were mainly about. So go ahead and take a few more safe steps across the bridge. The troll's not going to bother you. All right, guys, I am running out of space on this video. And so I'm going to stop it here. And then we will continue on the next slide with the next video. And we, and we will pick up on number 26.